it's like a rocket taking off trying to break the atmosphere. I just like the trove bars. Feels good, man. It reminds you of like a ballerina. Take a 16 pound ball, attach it to a four foot steel chain, and hurl it as far as humanly possible. This is the hammer throw. It's like a drug to me, you know? Like, I love that kind of feeling. I love spinning that fast in the ring. It's kind of like riding a bull or something. You're just, you're just along for the ride and you're hoping not to fall over. It is one of the oldest track and field sports with roots dating back to 14th century Scotland. The hammer throw made its first international appearance at the second ever Olympiad in 1900. Fast forward 117 years from Athens, Greece to Athens, Georgia, and you find two of the nation's top five hammer throwers, Alex Persinides and Denzel Comanentia. And they might be keeping one of track and field's coolest events in America a secret. Well, they aren't trying to anyway. Well, the first thing you think about when you do track and field is sprinting. High schools, for example, there's only one state that officially participates in the hammer at the high school level. And that's usually where you get exposed to the throwing events. In fact, only one American since the 1956 Olympics has meddled in the hammer throw. Just to show you how unknown this sport is, we're going to go test a couple of sports journalist knowledge to see what they can tell us about the hammer throw. So I'm here at the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication on the UGA campus. We're going to go right in here. This is where a sports journalism class is, and they're going to tell us a little bit more about the hammer throw, if they can. Do you know what the hammer throw is? I don't know what the hammer throw is. Not really. The hammer throw? No, I do not. Luckily, if you want to see the hammer throw in person, the Torn Lawrence Memorial is happening right here on May 6th at the Spec Downs track. And just so you know what the good hammer throw looks like, we're going to meet up with a couple of UGA track and field members who are going to show us how to really launch this thing. Right here, I'm standing what's called the hammer ring. So it's, it's obviously a big circle here, and it's seven feet wide. Normally what you do is you start in the back of the ring, and you do a series of turns while holding the hammer. You pretty much have to wind the ball. Um, some people wind three times, two times, it depends on what thrower you are. Uh, just, you just have to put as much speed, speed as you can in the ball, so it, it can help you start the throw. Do what's called a, a heel-toe turn. So I turn on the, t if I'm a right-hander, I'll be spinning counterclockwise, and I'm gonna turn on my right toe and on my left heel to, to spin around. Um, usually the first couple turns are slow. It's to kind of build a good momentum, and then three, four is when you hit it. Normally, you're gonna release it around a 40 degree angle is about optimum and you're gonna generate speeds of up to about 70 miles an hour, actually. The centripetal, centrifugal forces kind of that are generated make the hammer appeal, uh, appear much heavier. On f after four turns, and you're about to release the hammer, the hammer effectively weighs about 700 pounds. Now, it's your turn. Reporting for Grady Sports Media, I'm Alexander McCready's.